So launch Illustrator and you'll be welcomed with this interface. We are going to create a new file for our project. When you click on create new, this new document dialog box pops up and you, we can select from the range of uh, document presets. So for us, we are going to choose one of these, like uh, I'll go with this. You will use pixels. So come to advanced options here. Normally I like my artwork to be of high quality. I will choose the higher quality which is 300 pixels per inch and let's go to preview mode we leave it at default so click on create the next thing you're going to do is to find the photo that you want to work on for our case we are using the photo of banner boy that i downloaded from his instagram page it's the one we will use to show you how to draw some clean line out here okay go to file click on open click on it and also click on open so now since it's too big for the artboard we need to resize it by holding down shift and alt all together and come to the edge here and drag it down so it can fit on the artboard for our case we are just going to draw the head so i'm going to resize it in a way that this part of the head and the neck fills the artboard like this the next thing we are going to do after fitting it on the artboard, we have to reduce the opacity here. And the reason for this is uh, to make sure our lines appear when we draw our lines on, on the photo layer. Because if you don't reduce the opacity, you will not be able to see your, your lines. You remember the lines are black. So you need to make sure you lower the opacity of this photo. So that you can be able to see your stroke lines when you draw. With that done, now let's lock this layer. We are going to call this one as photo layer. I would advise you to be saving your work as you progress. Because once your system crashes or any small thing happens, you might lose your work altogether. And it's not a good experience, guys. So now with that done, we are going to create a new layer by clicking on this create new layer icon. We will click on it and the new layer will pop automatically on top of the photo layer here. We are going to call this uh, a line art layer. So they don't confuse you guys. I'm going to be doing this throughout so you will know where to correct or where to make your changes. I like to arrange my layers in the way that if I want to correct something it's so easy for me to go to that layer and try to make some changes as I progress in case I made a mistake I can go back to that layer unlock it and try to do what I want to do then go back to what I'm doing instead of uh, combining the whole work in one layer which is going to be tedious for you guys when you combine everything in one layer it can be really hard to distinguish which one you want to correct and which one is right and which one is wrong. So by separating the layers, you get to choose which one is not really making your artwork look good. So it's easy to make corrections from there. And the next thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to create a brush to draw with. Because now if you just go to paint brush tool here like some guys do and you want to draw, you will be seeing this icon here. It means there's no brush on this icon. You have to create your own brush by yourself. And to create it, let's make sure the stroke tool is on top here. And then click this box for some seconds and other tools will pop up here. So we're going to choose line segment tool. Hold down shift and draw horizontal line. This one is okay. Let's increase the stroke weight to at least three points. Now we come to this box and choose uh, width profile one then we come to this dialog box and click on new brush click on this icon here and a set of brushes will pop up and from here we can select the brush that we want normally with people that have uh, graphic tablets you can choose calligraphic brush but for us who use only mouse to make art use art brush and click ok you can choose to rename your brush or leave it like this but just make sure stretch to fit stroke length is checked and click OK. 
now our brush is created let's try with the paint brush tool and see how it looks you can see guys this is how you know that you have created a nice brush when you see your brush has like very sharp edges on both ends like this you can see this is awesome so let's delete these lines and we can begin our drawing process and i'll start with the eyes brush stroke is at one point this is okay you can choose to put at uh, 0 0.5 it's okay but i like to put it at a uh, one point for you to navigate through this while you're drawing you need to be holding down alt and scroll on the math wheel to zoom in zoom out zoom in zoom out it will be so easy than using the zoom or the pan tool so this is very easy to zoom in and zoom out while you're drawing so let's start drawing this eye So for you to see your stroke lines, you need to uh, turn off the photo layer like this. So only your stroke lines can remain on the artboard. If you are satisfied with the, how your lines look, then you can bring back your photo layer and continue drawing. So let's continue and draw the other eye the same way we did with the other one. Sometimes while drawing, your hand can be a little bit shaky. So you will get used to drawing with mouse with time so let's continue to draw the eyebrows this is how you draw the eyebrows guys you just draw like you don't need to draw straight lines here you draw like s shapes not necessarily real s but like this just to bring out the shape of the eyebrows and add for him more eyebrows if it doesn't have more of this you can do on this side also you can draw the same let's see how they look yeah nice so if you want to make corrections on your lines i need you to use a direct selection tool and then you click on these stroke lines when you click on these stroke lines you will see all these white squares here these are called anchor points these are the ones you can use to correct your lines any way you want to. In case you made a mistake, you can click on this anchor point. And then the handles will pop up. The handles are here. You can maneuver around and try to drag like this. If you feel like this is how you should draw your line before. Maybe you can use the handle to, to straighten the line the way you want so they are very important when you are trying to make corrections on your lines when you're drawing so we're not finished drawing the eye and again let's bring the fill tool here and we switch this black color to the fill tool then let's select the pencil tool and draw this dark area this is awesome after drawing it's either you click the back arrow or you just click on the, the color here it will turn black you can do the same on this side okay now let's hide the photo layer so we can see our stroke lines and how they look you see it's, it's really nice now bring back our photo layer and then we continue drawing we move to the nose we draw the shape the same way we're drawing other shapes you just follow the outline guys let's see how it looks it's coming so we have to draw this dark shadow beneath the nose we will use the pencil tool here switch the black color to the fill tool here and then let's draw this we select this color make it black we can do the same this side just to draw the shadow here also we make it black let's see how it looks awesome so now we move to the hairs and we draw the shape
Yep, it's coming. So this is a uh, earring. We're going to draw the shape like this. Okay. Now the shape has come. Let's move to draw the lips. It's coming guys, you see? Very nice. This is nice. Let's draw this side of the face. Nice. Let's draw the cup. Let's draw the beards and uh, to draw the beards we're going to use the pencil tool because we cannot draw each hair with the paintbrush tool this hair is too much it, it will take you forever to finish if you're going to be drawing each hair piece with the paintbrush tool so we are going to just draw with the pencil tool Let's see how it looks. Amazing. Let's also draw the dreads behind here. And also this side. Let's draw the remaining parts like these parts we just draw with the paint brush tool. You can see this is really awesome. When you look at the line art, you just know this is for Banner Boy. At least make sure your line art has at least 90% resemblance to the actual photo. So when you look at this, it's really nice guys, nice and clean. If you show someone this line art, you'll automatically say this is Banner Boy. So be on the lookout for the next tutorial on how I'm going to color this amazing clean line art. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you all in the next video.